Hello, I'm Philip. Uh, about 50 years ago or so, I was probably a bit like Doubting Thomas. I knew all about Jesus. I attended church every Sunday. I was an active member of the youth group. But the resurrection was a bit of a stumbling block for me. I simply didn't believe it. Then one day, Jesus spoke to me very clearly. He called me by name and told me that he loved me. Thomas didn't believe the other disciples when they told him about the resurrection until Jesus spoke to him in person. The story of Thomas is in John chapter 20. Let me just read that to you. I'm reading from the New International Version. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not recorded in this book but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God and that by believing you may have life in his name. Interestingly the disciples seem to have been in lockdown but not because they were frightened of catching something they were frightened of someone catching them. They had something to spread. They had some good news to spread. But they were frightened to go out and tell people. They wanted to tell everyone about the resurrection. But they knew, that Jesus, they knew how Jesus had been treated by the authorities. And were frightened that they might suffer the same fate. So they kept quiet and locked the doors. It wasn't until Pentecost, in fact, that they received the power and authority to speak openly. They told Thomas, of course, because he was one of the twelve, but he didn't believe them. Would you have believed them? They'd all seen him the previous Sunday, but their story was so far-fetched, I guess Thomas thought they were probably winding him up. If he'd fallen for that, he'd have been a laughing stock. They'd never let him live it down. But Jesus came again that Sunday and gently reassured Thomas, whose response was simply to worship, saying, My Lord and my God. It seems to me that Thomas must have wanted it to be true, which is why his worship was spontaneous and we're told at the end of that passage that this and all the other stories set out by John are there that you might believe that Jesus is the Messiah the Son of God and that by believing you may have life in his name if you're open with Jesus if you ask him he will make himself known in whatever way is appropriate and real for you. He's right beside you now and simply awaits your invitation to be part of your life and to tell you whatever you need, whatever you need to hear, so that you may believe. A short prayer. Lord, we thank you that you care for each of us individually. Thank you that, love, that you love us just as we are. Thank you that you want us to be filled with your joy and to enjoy life in all its fullness.
Thank you that even in our doubts you are there to hold and guide us. Thank you that in times of despair you carry us. Lord, speak to us during this lockdown with your words of encouragement and bring us your peace. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.